Hello my friends of Middle Earth and welcome to the Beyond Sun channel, my name is Shanks and today I am going to play a 1v1 matchup on the beautiful and classical map Forts of Aizen in a good against evil matchup between Gondor and Isengard. And what a surprise, I got to play Isengard. Okay, you know the matchup, this matchup requires a lot of micro at the beginning of the game, when we mess up the beginning it's pretty much GG, so we need to try our best to protect our settlements outside, it's like the most important thing ever. Uruks. Okay, let's capture the settlement. And we can also build a slaughterhouse later on. But for now, let's recruit some more orcs. I mean Uruks, sorry. In a dream world, we can damage his soldiers before they can make it to our settlement. It would be like that would be like the best thing, you know, ever. But we shall see. Okay, so we need to damage him and then we need to turn this into a 3v2 situation. So we need to bring more Uruks to this location as soon as possible. I'm gonna build a slaughterhouse because it's tankier, so it's gonna be easier for me to protect it and keep recruiting more Uruks. That's very important, boys, okay? So you see, we already killed one of them. That's good for me, you know. So the more damage we deal to them, the better. So we need to kind of fight this, but in a decent way we also need to use the block formation of course to be a bit more tanky and bring more Uruks. So once it's a 3v2 situation we should be able to win this. Alvin Wood grants them 35% increased armor, but now we have 33% more units and Uruks are a bit stronger than soldiers so it's quick map you know. We should be able to win this. We can also repair this, no problem. I mean, the soldiers are so tanky, dude. It's unbelievable how tanky they are, actually. But so is my slaughterhouse, you know? And it's very important to repair it with the lumber mill workers, too. I, I don't think he can destroy it. You see acing, actually? I don't know. But I know that I need to destroy his farms, okay? There are a few things you can do, you can try to creep at the beginning of the game, but I think destroying his farms and denying them to hit, to hit level 3 anytime soon is gonna be more valuable. The problem is he's acing a little bit, so what he's doing is he's attacking the slaughterhouse and he's attacking me back, which causes my units to not be able to attack him, you see? I need to let him know this. Because you see my units are not able to attack him. Actually, I'm very surprised about how tanky the slaughterhouse is, especially when the workers are repairing it, you know? Okay, we have um, Uruk Pit level 2. What I can do now is I can recruit pikemen, but I would like to get a berserker. So we can use Warchant and try to creep. We got level 2, but I think it's fine. We should be still able to win this fight. And his Knights of Gondor are quite delete. I don't know if he actually went for too many resource building inside the castle, you know? I like to go for an early stable myself. We need pikemen though, ESCP boys. Oh boy, there is a hobbit. Okay, so it's fine now. It's not the end of the world. We can use now the war chant on the Uruk and Berserker. The hobbit is killing my workers, I know. He already killed all my workers, that's very really unfortunate. I'm kind of broke actually, you know, I don't know, I messed up a little bit. I should not let him kill my workers. I'm, I'm pretty certain maybe it's better to actually start with double slaughterhouse. Because the lumber mill is only good if you have at least two lumber mills, you know, to get the wood bonus. But we had only one mill, we had never had the bonus. And mills are so much, so much vulnerable because the hobbit can kill your workers and if he does that, you get zero money from the lumber mill, you know. So I'm gonna use the Uruks to tank the damage and my pikemen can do the rest. Oh boy, okay. But at least we were able to get this creep, so that's gonna be the second creep of us. My eco is still so messed up, I need more pikemen, but I also need a better eco. Uh, 
Luckily, I'm very close to the industry, you know? That's gonna be quite helpful. Oh my goodness, man, the Hobbit is still there. I'm so broke. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm so broke, guys. Please let me get the money. Please let me get the money. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that was actually needed. Oh, I stole them all. Thank you. Let me get this money too. I mean, you see that the money from the chest from the creep is actually very helpful. Very helpful. Amazing. We need industry. I would like to go for a tainted land, but I need industry, dude. So that's going to be quite helpful. We got to kill this peregrine took to full of a took. You caused enough problems, you halfling. You vanished. Go back to the shadows. I mean, we know he was creeping the top side. I'm pretty certain that he's creeping more, but I'm actually kind of down to this. Because I'm happy that he doesn't destroy my slaughterhouses or my structures, you know? I need to build a bit more towers to feel a bit more safe. Okay, we know the creep that is remaining on the field. Um, but without Warchan, it's going to be impossible for me to creep this. Because we nerfed it. A few versions ago, you could creep the work lab with your pikeman exclusively. Now it's still possible, but it's very risky. It's like a 70% of feeling and 30% of succeeding. And I don't want to take the risk. We need to demolish this to get a bit more money back. Okay, Auriko is looking good now. Now we have a few options. Oh, okay. He was creeping this. That's very unfortunate for me. Now we have a few options. So we can go for the Borg Pit or we can save up for Lourdes, you know. I think Lourdes is going to be good for later on. But Borg Pit is going to give me more momentum. But I'm pretty certain that this game is going to last a while. So I think it would be better to go for Lourdes. I mean, if he doesn't go for the barracks, I'm down. I will take a whole map, you know? He, he needs soldiers. Otherwise, I will take the entire map. Let's go for Lourdes. We only took two creeps so far, you know? That's very unfortunate for me. Usually, you need to take, like, three creeps at bare minimum when you play Isengard against Condor. But also, the game is a little bit lagging for me. It's, like, freezing from time to time, and I need to always double-check if they are doing what I'm telling them to do. Okay, Lourdes, that's good. It's gonna be helpful, you know. We will slowly but surely get into level 5. That's the power spike we are looking for. And I would like to see a bit more from the map, but I think our map control is not too shabby at this point of the game. Could be better. Let's use Cripple. Cripple him! Do it! Take this. Okay, nice. I knew it. I knew it. We need Warp it. And you, oh my, he has outpost here. Look what I'm gonna do, guys. He has double land there too. I, mean, I have a plan, okay? Let's let's do something. We're gonna go for the structures. Maybe he's not gonna demolish them, and it's it's gonna give me lots of power points. Wells and statues give so many power points. Watch this. Boom. You go for the well. You go for this. We need to switch to the porcupine formation. Oh lords, go back to the pikeman, please. Lords, lords. Oh, nice, nice. We even share experience from this one. Now we got a Beal. Now we got a Beal. It didn't demolish them. It's very good for me. I got a whole power point from this, you know? Map control is... Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Okay, we need definitely War Riders, boys. We need definitely a lot of them. I'm not I'm not sure, actually, if I should be going for um, upgrades or Saruman. I think upgrades are better because it gives me the chance to fight against his Knights of Gondor with my Warcarriers, so it's going to be better for me. Saruman is more like a defensive choice, you know, when, it, when it's about, when he's about to pressure your castle over and over again, Saruman is great with the Fireball and Wizard Blast to defend the castle, but I think upgrades are giving you more presence, you know, more dominance on the map. Okay. So we need to kill those soldiers. Industry once again, quite helpful. Get armory. And you know what? I'm down, dude. When, when he's like, okay, you know what? Let's split the map in two pieces. I have like three settlements outside. That's good for me. 
Three Lambert meals for evil factions, pretty decent. My Lord's almost level 3. That's also good. We can creep this with Lord's. But oh my goodness. I'm. Dude, guys, for my excuse, I really didn't play this game actively in this year. Okay, 2023 has not been a BFME year for me so far. So I'm very bad. I'm super rusty. Trample time! Who let the works out? <laughs> okay, oh, does he have actually... I think he has heavy armor on them, right? But it doesn't matter, dude. But it does not matter. Or does it? We need to trample. The soldiers are tanky on the Alvin Wood. Holy. Okay. I mean, we saw the archer range from him, so I wouldn't be too surprised if we will have to deal with archers or rangers very soon. But fortunately, we have like uh, walk riders, you know? And they have also land, so he plays the second land, right? He plays the second land next to the outpost. So he's trying to make me not be able to get to the outpost from him. But if he ever uses the land again, I can cover the land, you know? I mean, it's quite tempting to kind of cover both the lands with one. But I think he has land again, so... Okay, so we need to get back there. He has combos, we need to get back there. And use the works to crush them. Oh! Come on, Lurz. Get level 4 already. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my... I'm playing so bad. Okay, you know what? It's time, it's time, we need to... Don't go for my Uruk Pit! Let's go Walk Riders. Lord's got level 4, it's good. Oh boy. It's Trample time. He has no leadership. I will have whole plus Warchant. It should be more than enough to crush those combos. Oh my goodness, my war did I miss the Warchant? It's lagging though, for my excuse. He didn't finish my Uruk Pit. Okay, Porcupine Formation there. I mean, I'm down to fight in front of my tower. It's good for my fight for me. And now we need to send workers to repair the Uruk pit. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I'm grateful. Thank you very much for not destroying my Uruk pit. I think he was expecting it to, be go, to go down. It's like 1 HP, you know? 1 HP. You wanna fight? Actually, they are chunking me. What the heck is this damage? Oh, be careful. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go this way. Lourdes doesn't deal damage to them. What the heck is this? I want to go ham, actually. But I don't know, man. He has prob probably rangers inside, you know? Oh, Lourdes, what are you doing? Go back, you fool. All right. Okay. Look, my workers are repairing my Uruk pit like crazy. I like that, you know? I like that. So we can now uh, make more army. And then we go ham. The problem is it's quite risky from my side to actually go to his outpost. You know, there is a well that are like double land. So I will have no leadership. And my Lourdes is not level 5 yet. So for that reason, I'm kind of scared to go there, you know? But I think when I get... Once I get my Saruman... I should be able, you know, a couple of units, army, Saruman, then I should be able to do stuff. But I'm still kind of broke. I mean, he's combining the soldier and tower guard. They are very good for map control. I can't really compete with them. You wanted to see, oh, no, 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 oh, that speed, that hurts, holy, stop it, chose a mercy, man. Oh, man, he just crushed everything, oh, boy, level 5, oh, boy, oh, boy, 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 yikes, that's a big yuck, okay. I didn't see that coming, though, I mean, he's, he saw my crossbow, man, inside the castle, and went for the trample, oof, that. That's painful. I mean, I was literally feeding lots of power points now for no reason. Literally for no reason. My Lourdes is somehow not recovering. Lourdes, be careful, please. We need to pick him up. Don't kill him. Use. Do it, Lourdes. Lourdes, you are so slow, Lourdes. 
I mean, we have the top side, but the question is for how long? Need to give them banner. Oh boy. Okay. I can fight this, I think. I have Warchant, and what can those units do against upgraded forks? They can't do much. Let's go for a trample. Okay, he's using swords, but it's fine. We can fight in melee range. Warchant. I can cover this, no problem. It's my line now. I have even more leadership, thank you very much. You see, that's like, guys, you basically don't need really uh, rain against Gondor, okay? But what you need is land, in my opinion. You need the rain eventually when he has Farami, Boromir, Gandalf leadership, and you have no Lord's leadership. That's like the only circumstance. And when they when he's camping with statue and stuff, then you want to use rain. But then, in normal cases, Isengard should have always more leadership than Gondor has. So the way rain is designed is you want to use rain when your opponent has more leadership than you do, and without rain you can't win fights. But against Gondor we can win fights. Because we have Lourdes almost level 5, we will have Saruman very soon. So, what I'm trying to say with this is we can actually go for the Field of Fires against Gondor. To be super rich, you know? Okay, I mean, we should be able to win this fight, no problemo. Almost there. These units are so tanky, Lourdes needs one hour to kill them actually. And you see, Vorks are actually doing work for us, you know. They are not work riders, they are work riders. <laughs> Sorry, that was like a cheap joke. Okay. Alright, Lourdes, all about hit level 5. Now we have two combos. Good map control, outpost top side. Wanna fight? Nice. Nice, now we have enough power points for the field of fires. And also it's quite helpful because it only costs you 6 power points while rain is costing you 7 power points. So with that being said, it's gonna help you to reach the Balrog summon a bit faster. But of course against factions like Rohan and I think also Mordor, of course Mordor, uh, it's better most of the time to go for the rain. You know? Rain is just so good, you know, it's the best ability, the better ability in the game. I mean, I'm scared to go actually forward, but he's coming to me, okay? Because at the outpost, he's the strongest, you know? Like, he has recovery and more leadership. Uh-oh, okay, back, 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 back. Okay, we need to use Warchan here. We need to use Warchan here, here. Okay, be, be careful, Pike Man. They are getting slaughtered. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oof, they got crushed. Okay, we need to use Warchan here, boom. Lords, be careful. And now we go trample the backline. Go trample the backline. That's what's we, but that's what's up. Okay. Put Lords in, inside the army a little bit so he gets to share experience. And it's a mistake from him to actually fight my Vorks with his knights of Condor. He should be just keep trampling because I have barely any pikemen. Look, I have like three pikemen. If he would kill them, the knights could crush me. Now he's gonna lose Boromir. And my Lords is basically level five. Now we can keep moving. And oh, but he has actually backup there. Okay, I didn't know that. There's lots of backup, but I want to still go for the structures. Lord's level 5, that's awesome. Maybe we can get a little bit more power points from destroying the well in statue. Hopefully, it's not going to demolish it. Demolished it. Okay, let's abort the mission now. Abort the mission! We are losing a lot. Oh boy, I lost. I will. Oh no, I lost a whole battalion of wall riders. Okay. Uh, okay, that's not worth it actually. Maybe I was a little bit too greedy, but I have enough money now for the white wizard Saruman. That has to be good for something. Lord's level 5, that's awesome. Beautiful. Okay. Map control is not looking too shabby. Remember, we have also fuel the fires, which means we get 70% more money from the Lumber Mills. And with the increased money we get from the Lumber Mills, they also will get to hit level 2 and level 3 faster, which means even more money. So Isengard is the richest faction in the game, you know? Especially on maps like Vault, for example, in which you have like plenty of trees, or when you play uh, 1v1, for example, the map Westfold, the Fangorn Forest. These are awesome maps for Isengard. You feel the fires. Like four mills with feel the fires, you are gonna be. You can, you know, pretty much lose everything, remake everything over and over again. Okay. So I need to combine them a little bit. I wanna fight against this Uruk uh, soldier. I mean, the problem is my Uruks are a bit hurt. I'm not sure if I can win the 1v1 fight or not. We'll find out very soon, though. 
and I'm not, I'm not sure about how many powerpoints he has. Uh, we know that he has Grey Company, that's certain. We know that he has Hill and Alvin Wood. But I'm pretty sure that he's also getting close to the Eagles or to the Cloud Brick, you know? He should go for the Eagles, though. You know, against Eisenhardt, you want to go for the Eagles because you want to crash the heroes like Lourdes when you kill Saruman, for example. It would be amazing. But it's Gandalf, actually, you know? He never went for the Gandalf. Which is kind of understandable. Because I have a Lourdes. I will cripple you the second I see you. But still, with Gandalf, you can lurk around the map and get some levels, power points, you know? Careful, Saruman. Fireball, damn! Fireball! <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk about this fireball. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Let's fight, boys. Let's fight. I'm gonna go through my army and then war chant all together. War chant. Boom. Oh, but that was a beautiful trample from him. I should have warm tongued it, but it's a bit too late now. My blast also missed, went to Afghanistan. Let's try to steal the Knights of Gondor. But we only stole the Rangers. Are you kidding me? Go for the structures. Go for the structures. Crippled Boromir. Let's go for the statue. Actually, he's slaughtering my army with the knights. He's slaughtering my army. Even though I didn't die yet, but he damaged me so much. Oh boy. You have to be kidding me, man. Kill him. Kill the... the problem is we have not many crossbowmen left in the battalion anymore. No. No. Um. Holy moly. But in the meantime, he's also losing a lot, actually. We both played this so bad. I mean, I played it horrible, but I mean, to be honest, he also didn't play it very well. But in the meantime, he actually at least takes my outpost topside. Okay. At least we can maybe save, hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can save the walk riders. Dude, we lost everything, man. That was horrible, guys. Horrible. It was really bad. Now we are kind of broke because we need to invest so much money into reviving our heroes. And imagine if it wouldn't have fueled the fires, you know? We wouldn't be able to do this. But also he's doing a good job, you know? With the slow combos, he's doing a good job. I'm so poor now. Give me money! <laughs> Give me money, somebody can... Any donators in the chat? Any donators? Any subbers to the chat? You know, the Twitch Prime is for free. But it will help me to recover from this game. <laughs> Kappa, I'm joking. Alright, so... Okay, so... We need to... I mean, let's hope that he won't attack us before our heroes are back in the business, okay? It's like the only chance we have, I think. I forgot I need to make more. Oh. That's gonna be a bad fight. I don't know. We should be able to win this, maybe. Let's bring the war carriers to this location. He's smart. He's gonna fight around the well. But I'm gonna go for the well. Oh man, this guy's annoying with this combos now. Taking whole map. I think my Vorks can actually do something about that, because they are not immune to trample unlike the Porcupine Formation Pikeman. If, but the problem is our trample is gonna only kill the soldiers, you know? The tower guards are highly resistant against trample damage. Are we winning this fight? I think so. Just trample. Nice. Nice, we actually won the fight. Alright. Let's give them banner first. Hold on. Uh, fire arrows first, I mean. And you see, because of the Saruman's ability, we get to save the banner upgrade. Which is like on three combos, and one pikeman is like over a over thousand. Okay, we can't keep chasing this. No problem, no way. The problem is... Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to commit to the outpost, you know? We have seen what happens, you know? You see, I was right about my fear to commit to the outpost. Now, I know that Eagles are still on cooldown, but still, you know. It's better for me to... I think it's better for me to go to this other outpost with my army. To go to the top outpost. Like, that would be low-key the better choice. Because then I can kind of 
The problem is I need also like an army in my castle. Hmm, how do I do this? How do I do this? I'm gonna go top. Need like some pikemen in the base and then I'm gonna fireball you guys. In works. Still a bit money, but need more. You can fight this, it's a 2v1 situation. Okay, you can't get away from me, man. I'm gonna blow I'm gonna fireball you now. Let's get this. Okay. Fireball, nice. So now question is should I bring my works to the top side? I think it's the best choice. The problem is the second he sees me coming with my whole army, he will come to my base, you know. Yeah, I told you. Hold on a second. Let's bring the pikemen in front of the Uruk pit. Porcupine formation. Oh, he's sandwiched. Oh, okay. Now we can fight this. Let's destroy the statue first. Level them up, Saruman. Where are you, Saruman? You are so far away. He lost all the Knights of Gondor. Hey, I can trample this. I can trample this. I'm gonna use Warchan on my works, though. I gotta use the Warchan on them eventually. Or do I need to use... I don't know. I don't need to use Warchan, maybe. Okay. Okay. I mean, am I, am I winning this fight or not? Oh, the knights. Dude. I was... I was very insecure about my play, you know? I should have kept my Saruman with my army. This might actually back backfire. Dude, the pillage from Lourdes is making us so much money, that's amazing. I like Lourdes so much. Lourdes is the best hero in the game, dude. Destroy the last statue. It's buffing the... Oh my god, let's be careful. Where is my Saruman? Saruman, move faster, bro! Should be able to win this, I think. I hope. We have still leadership from Warchan and... Please don't lose the level. We lost the level 5. Will we also lose level 3? Okay, nice. We've saved them. Okay, we are very close to the Balrog summon, okay? So the plan is simple. Now we will be able to get this outpost. That's good. We have a level 5 combo. That's amazing. We have like double leadership, triple leadership now. Let's send this damage one back to the castle so you can recover. Now we're gonna buy this outpost, okay? Then we will go for a siege. So we will uh, go for a siege and then we will just go to the bottom outpost and by the time we should have enough power points of Balrog. So we need to... I don't know how close he is to AOD. Remember when he summoned the Eagles, he actually killed a lot of me. He killed my heroes. So basically we know he summoned the Eagles, he killed my Lord in Saruman. That's already like 3 power points he just get, get. And then also my army, you know. I think he's very close to AOD. Very close. So in this situation, what's important is to make him... To force him to make a choice you know he can't push and like it's it's hard to explain but we need to force him to use eod in a defensive way so at his own outpost for example but not when he's attacking me with an army and then he's using eod and crushing my army then he has the chance to finish the game to win the game out of that so we need to bring the fight to them as boromir would like to say you know in the meantime i'm gonna sneak in some uh, some of the siege weapons hold on a second demolish the structures in time he's gonna go for the trample isn't he isn't he yeah he's gonna go for the trample oh that's hurt that hurts okay we are coming back to the base though that's fine oh boy I'm still broke but i also uh, for my defense i also keep investing money all the time now so now i think we need to get to the outpost because we won't get any more any more stronger there's like the strongest form of isengard with like double leadership from the heroes and then we have also warchan available i'm gonna bring this palisa to my castle so you know what my plan is boys i want to i want to fight at the outpost and in the meantime i want to actually siege his main castle a bit and while he's paying attention to the to the to the outpost, 
he won't be paying attention to his castle. So I will use all my Vork Riders to actually go crazy on him, you know? So level team 1, team 2. Go, go. Money is looking not too bad. Let's get some rams, okay? The reason why we go for rams is even if he destroys the rams, it's not going to give him lots of power points. But destroying ballista or any shooting siege weapon like trebuchet or catapult is actually quite rewarding. He has no trebuchet too. Because he's investing all the money into army. I'm not sure if he has actually... Um, the, see it. Marketplace or not. You see the downside of these combos? They can't use porcupine formation. It hurts me to trample them a bit, but it's by far not as effective as having porcupine formation pikemen, you know? Okay, so we have more than 50% of the map. That's amazing. Dude, the, the remaining tower guards are crushing me, actually. Holy. We lost, actually, so much. We gotta make more walk riders. More, 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 more. Only one? Only one? Here we go, him. But we need to make more first, okay? So let's co collect them all together there. We need to have like five battalion of walk riders. Let's steal them all. I stole them all! Let's kill, let's kill, 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 kill the eagles, kill the eagles! One more eagle, one more eagle remaining, kill, 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 before he kills the... Oh, he actually went for my Saruman uh, for the second time. Okay, he should have gone for the Lourdes, because Lourdes would be dead with the one attack. So he now damaged both, but he didn't kill one of them. That's amazing for me, actually, I take it. Okay, beautiful. It's actually way better than expected. It's like a big waste of power point from him, you know? He panicked summon it. Like, he saw me stealing all his Knights of Gondor, and then he panics some in it, you know? Oh, boy. Kill this Tower Guard, man. Come on now, please. Oh, I forgot about this Knights of Gondor, man. <laughs> I forgot about them. But he used heal, didn't he? Nice. Nice. We have enough power points now for Balrog. I mean, dude. Kill him. What the heck? This Tower Guard is crazy, hitting like a truck. All right. Now, now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Is this going to be a 200 IQ pre? Guys, watch this, watch this. Okay, what I'm going to do. Now, you might say, summon your Balrog and go to his castle. No, 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 no. That's like what you would do, but I'm not you guys. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's like what uh, most people would do, but I'm weird. I'm a bit weird in my brain, you know? I'm not going to do it. I have, a, I have a different plan, okay? For a different plan, okay. So, I'm going to go to this... Oh, you want to fight? We, we know we damaged him big time, right? We know he doesn't have too much. I have no pikemen, but I have highly leveled combos with, like, double leadership. So I don't think the Knights of Condor can do much. We already broke one part of the wall. Okay, so the plan is, we go to his outpost, fighting with the combos and our heroes, and our war army will actually go to his... castle. It's an opening. I don't know if he has money to repair it, but it's going to be 2500 so it's quite expensive. Even if he repairs it, I'm down. Because it's like a lot of money for a couple of rams I'm producing. It's nothing. Come on, follow me, follow me, follow me. Like, give me the opportunity to go inside the jeans. Give me the opportunity to go inside the jeans. Okay, now he actually went out of the position. I'm going to use Warchan here too. Look, I will only go for the structures, boys. Big war chant. Destroy the citadel first. Split up a little bit. You go for this, you go for this. In the meantime, we're gonna keep fighting here around the outpost, okay? We have Balrog, we're gonna summon the Balrog actually at the outpost. Big brain alert. Alright. Now it's I don't know if he has AOD, but if he has AOD, now it's gonna be important where he's gonna use it. Because if he's gonna use it to kill my Balrog, I will kill his entire beast. <gasps> okay. I think that's like, it doesn't seem like that, but I think that's the best decision he could make there. Because my works would crush, if not all the castle, like the majority of the castle. I mean, it's still not bad for me because I didn't lose my heroes, you know? Like, losing my Saruman and Lords would be the most painful thing. But I didn't lose any of them. Come on, Balrog, don't sleep with me. The OD is coming, but I think their time remaining is going to be gone very soon. Alright, let's get this. 
Oh, hold on, it is a... Get over here! <laughs> I'm a demon of the ancient world. You human, take my sword of destiny. <laughs> okay, alright. Nice, okay, beautiful. Dude, my Twitter is tanky against uh, knights, by the way. Alright, so now it's amazing. That's the position you want to be in, okay? You want to have double outpost control. You want to control the outpost before you finally make it to the castle. So now, here's only a castle that we need to destroy. And once it's gone, we will win the game. People don't understand. Balrog losing its impact if your opponent has like two outposts and a castle. And when you play good against evil, when you play the good faction, you want to make sure that you have the outpost control when you know it's kind of lead game and my opponent might get close to the Balrog summon, you know? Because Balrog, when you have only one camp, one castle, one outpost, can be definitely game winning. But if you have like outpost control, if the castle is like all you got, you can definitely defend against this, you know? Even if you don't defend against this, you will have map control, you will have enough money to buy the castle back and stuff like this, you know? Outpost control is essential against evil factions in the lead game. Okay, so all we need is now to siege. All we need is to siege. Oh no, we destroyed it. Dude, this. Uh, they are so tanky. They are so tanky, these knights of Gondor. We need to make sure that he's poor, you know? He needs to stay poor. I'm not sure if he actually rebuilt uh, the castle, but I don't want to risk it. I want to go for the siege. I want to open from both sides, you know? So we can go from the left or from the right side. I'm very surprised that he never went for Ganoff all game long. Like Ganoff is low key is, is like the best hero in the game, dude. Trust me, that one, guys. It's like best hero because you are so mobile. You are like basically Saruman, but you are on a horse, and it's like a farm PowerPoint farming machine. In the worst case scenario, you can dance around the rosy in the map and history. So this one is the that one lightning sword this one blast this one and it will help he will help you so much to you know farm power points he's like a powerpoint farmer that's what he is you know let's go to the outpost okay now we go him we have black we have, we have command points limited so we can't Produce any more siege weapons, but it's fine. It's fine. You go inside the jeans again. Go, 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 go. No. Nice. You, you did it. Okay, nice. Beautiful. So now we can defend. It's no problem. If a tower and units inside. Saruman, come on, man. Come on, Saruman. Look at the minimap, boys. You like to see it. You like to see it. There's only one farm left. But it's about to be changed. We're gonna destroy this one as well. Don't give them anything, but take everything from them, you know? Like this. There's too many tower guards, but it's fine. I will break in, I will war chant, and I will go for the victory. We know, like, basically, we summoned Eod a Balrog a bit sooner than EOD. So we know before our Balrog is gonna be up. Um, his EOD won't be up, okay? So these are important cooldowns you need to play around. Now, for the for the final fight, we have also the Freezing Rain. So I don't think he can defend this. How is he going to defend against this? You know, like three combos high level, two heroes high level, lots of war gathers, full map control. How you defend against that? You can't. But I don't want to jinx myself, you know? I don't know if he has Eagles or not, but I think Eagles must be almost back up. I will just go inside now. Okay, let's go inside. E click. Boom, boom, boom. Let's use Freezing Rain. He has not even a statue. No tower guards. My wards are going to be literally winning the game here. I can blast this. Alright, so let's, let's kill the eagles first. Eagle. One shot, one shot, one shot. Nice. Nice. This eagle now. Fireball him too. Fireball. Oh, we don't even need to fireball. Okay. Oh, he's going to call it. GG, I'll play it, my friend. It was actually a, a, not a bad game at all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one too. Against the power of Isengard, there can be no victory. 
lots of mistake from lots of mistakes from both the sides which kind of make this game more fun in my opinion i hope you guys enjoyed if you did you know what to do leave a like subscribe and i will see you all in my next video until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards and also let's wait a little second to see the you know end game statistic i want to see how much money i had to show you the value of isengard economy isengard's economy in the lead game i'm pretty certain that i had more money yes i did okay guys see you next time peace out